Now, if you look close at this thing in the lower left, there's a flame rod there, but the wire is not connected to it. And yet the burner is still on. So why is the burner on if the flame rod is disconnected? Is the board bad? So when I removed the wiring to the hot surface igniter, I kind of gave you the reason for this thing. The hot surface igniter is actually used as the flame rod. This was common in furnaces in the late uh, 1980s when we first started putting ignition controls in them. But it's pretty uncommon with an integrated furnace control as this one is. I was a little surprised to see it there. I noticed, you know, that the, the hot surface igniter was positioned odd because it was on the second burner. And the flame rod looked like it was kind of an add-on. So I got to looking at this thing and checking the flame rod to see if I was going to get uh, microamps on it. And I didn't get much on it. And I thought, shoot, this stupid thing is using the hot surface igniter as the flame rod. It was very common in these furnaces. This is a 1993, so it's a little late for this one. I didn't think this one would have it. But it's, it was very common on a lot of these old furnaces to have that. It was not a good way to sense flame. They were not very predictable. It was pretty tough to determine whether there was a problem any place uh, in the ignition control or if it was in the hot surface igniter. Fortunately, they stopped doing that uh, pretty quick. I, in fact, I didn't have never seen one uh, from a 1993 furnace that uh, had that on it. But yeah, that was kind of a problem back then. But that is the way they did it for a while on some of these earlier furnaces. That's it on this one.